Hello all. Welcome to Tech Horizon Hub. In this part of the series, we will assign the hosts to satellite control plane and then create OpenShift cluster. Let us start with the process of assigning the hosts to satellite control plane. The link takes us to the documentation on IBM Cloud with more detailed information. Let us move to IBM Cloud satellite location and assign the hosts to the satellite control plane. We would need at least three hosts in different zones added to satellite control plane. We are now assigning one host at a time to satellite control plane. The provisioning would take some time. Let us wait for the status to be normal or healthy before we proceed further. All the three hosts we added to satellite control plane went for provisioning. Now the status of the hosts is normal. We can proceed further. Now we will proceed further with OpenShift cluster installation in IBM Cloud Satellite. The link takes us to IBM Cloud documentation with more detailed explanation. In the IBM Cloud menu, go to the OpenShift menu and then click on Clusters. We will use Create Cluster option on the right to create OpenShift cluster on our satellite location. Select the option Satellite here. Then select the location we want to use here. Make sure the status is healthy or normal before we proceed. Now we will assign the worker nodes. Minimum 3 nodes is expected. Select the OpenShift version. Select cluster admin access based on your need. Select the cluster name of your preference. I generally use the same name as satellite location for easy identification when deploying multiple clusters. Now go ahead and create cluster. This process would take time for the cluster to be healthy. It would be provisioning worker nodes in the background. You may see critical errors during this process. Wait for the cluster to be completely healthy. Now we see all the hosts and the OpenShift cluster is healthy. Now let us access the cluster we just created. Let us quickly explore the OpenShift cluster created. Now we see no storage configured on this cluster. Quickly going through cluster metrics. In the upcoming video we would configure storage on this cluster and then run some workloads consuming the storage. Thank you for watching see you in next video.